Hey y'all, Melissa here with you answering another one of your sewing questions. So today I'm going to be showing you how to cut out clothing patterns with a rotary cutter. Previously on this series, I have covered how to cut with a rotary cutter and a ruler. But then I had some follow-up questions about how to cut out clothing patterns with a rotary cutter. Now personally, I prefer to use my dressmaking shears most of the time when I am cutting out clothing patterns. The exception to the rule where I prefer a rotary cutter is when I'm cutting out swimwear or lingerie. And that's because you're dealing with small pieces and you're dealing with slippery fabric a lot of times. You can cut out larger garments with rotary cutters using these same skills, but I personally only use this when I am dealing with swimwear or lingerie. So, if you're going to cut out your pattern with a rotary cutter, you're going to need some tools, and I'm gonna have links to all of these below. First, you need a cutting mat. So the one I have here is 12 inches by 18 inches, which I think is perfect for swimwear and lingerie. But I wanna show you an important difference with cutting mats, which ones I feel work well for cutting clothing versus the kind that can work well for quilting. So this one here, you'll see, is a little bit thicker and it is a little bit softer of a mat. Like I can kind of press my fingernail into it and I can feel a little bit of give. Let me li let you listen to what it sounds like if I'm tapping my fingernails on it. So you can hear how that's kind of dulling the sound because this is a softer mat. This kind of mat is good for cutting with a ruler, but it is essential for cutting out patterns. And the reason is I feel this kind of mat grips your blade a little bit more so it prevents you from accidentally slicing off part of your pattern. The other kind of cutting mat I have, so I have this one. This is a little bit thinner and it doesn't have as much give. It is a thinner, like plasticky mat. You can hear how my nails sound much more sharp on it. This does not grip my blade as well. And this is the kind I don't enjoy cutting on if I'm cutting on clothing. So I do think it is worth it to get those thicker, often more expensive cutting mats if you're going to be cutting garments with a rotary cutter. The other tool you're gonna need, of course, is the rotary cutter. For larger pieces, you can often use a 45 millimeter ro rotary cutter. The one I have in my hand is a 28 millimeter rotary cutter. This is my preferred size for smaller pieces like swimwear. You can even, for tiny little curves, get an 18 millimeter rotary cutter, which is even smaller than this. The smaller blade not only helps you get into those small curves, I feel like it's easier to control because you can't accidentally just slice off without um, noticing because it is a smaller wheel. So you're cutting a smaller portion at a time. And then finally, you need some kind of pattern weight. So this set I have is from Thanks I Made Them um, and I got them from her Etsy shop. They are have print on the top, they've got felt on the bottom, and these are actually made out of marble pieces. So they're a nice weight, and with that felt, they don't mess up your pattern. Okay, what I'm going to cut out here is a piece of the Barrett Brawlet, and I will link to a video where I sewed this up. And um, I'm going to lay out my pattern and put some pattern weights on it just to kind of hold it in place. And you can even put one up there, and what I'll do is I'll move it back and forth as I'm cutting. But just to hold it all flat. Then with this kind of blade, you need to pull the safety guard down, and now the blade is exposed. I like to keep the blade against my pattern piece. So you just press down a little bit, and then go slowly and keep the blade, kind of like if you were tracing around with a pencil. You need your blade to be sharp, so definitely have blade replacements and change it out when it's dull. So when you get to other areas, like I tend to prefer, this is why I like the small mat, because then I can just rotate the mat so that whatever I'm cutting is always on my right. All right, let's go into this curve. And sometimes I will place my hand on the pattern as well just to give myself a little more control. Let's 
Now, on this end, because it didn't finish cutting, I want to keep the blade against the pattern. So I actually like this particular cutter because I can flip the blade over. And you can use it going either way. That also makes it good if you happen to be a left-hander. This, you can use it in either hand. And there we go. There is my piece cut out like the pattern. So that is how you cut curves with a rotary cutter. If you would like to see the other sewing questions that I've answered, I've created a playlist and you can check that out. And if you have a sewing question that you would like me to consider, submit that in the forum that is linked below.